much for joining in. Meanwhile, just keep an eye out on Kalyan Jewelers. That stock's doing well in today's trading session. In fact, over the last couple of years, it has rallied fairly hardly. In the last two years, the stock has uh, grown about eight times in its value. And HSBC still sees further value out here because they believe that it's still midway in its value creation journey. Where do they see this uh, you know, uh, coming from? They've seen Titan's journey as a useful guide to track the long-term growth catalyst for the jewellery sector on the whole. They see clear potential to quadruple their store count from close to around 217 to about 800 at the end of this decade itself. And they say that for all of this, Kalyan trades at an FY26 price to earnings of 56 times after an eight times move in the last two years, which is a 10% discount to Titan. They believe that, you know, while the discount to Titan has narrowed, the valuation is appealing if pitted against all the other consumer opportunities and looked at the growth of prospects that Kalyan Jewelers offers. So after having upped their store guidance and also, you know, some long-term margin triggers, they believe that the target price for the fair value should be close to 810 rupees versus 600 rupees. So that's about HSBC's view on Kalyan. Two things I'll be watching out for. One, uh, the, the 15 days ago, you know, there was a large trade where promoters bought 2.36% stake from Warburg Pincus. And secondly, with the valuation gap narrowing between Titan and the others, will Street start looking at the leader or will they still back the followers like Kalyan and all of them is something we'll most definitely keep an eye out on. As you can see, the last 12 months, stock up around 175%. Titan has been an underperformer. The valuation gap has narrowed. Let's see whether Street bets on Kalyan, Senko and the others or they take a look at Titan itself. Okay, all right. Well, let's shift.